This morning's Coffee With is with John Rollo. John Rollo with Shogun Fight. So great having you on this morning. How are you? Good, thanks, Lynn. I wanted to tell you just something random real quick. I was at Pet Valley yesterday getting dog food, yep. and there a framed picture of you autographed. <laughs> Sitting at the cash register? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm assuming it was for one it of the was, animals. Yeah, you know, barks the, or yeah, something. Yeah, Pet Value actually sponsors the show. Uh, Joe Dents, one of their VPs, mm -hmm. uh, is local in the area. We're both on the board at Barks together. Yeah. So, uh, you know, th I mean, I work a lot with the animals, and uh, because of that, Pet Value actually sponsors the show. I thought it was just so funny because I saw it yesterday, knowing I was going to see you in person today. It's I was great. like, good job. <laughs> All right, so we're here to talk about Shogun Fights this weekend here yes, in Baltimore. Tell us what we're going to expect. Yep, Saturday night, October 24th, we have a uh, Right now, 12 scheduled fights on the card, three title fights. Uh, we have Binky Jones is going to fight Francisco Asada for the 145-pound belt, and Binky's very well known in the Baltimore area. Uh, we have Micah Terrell is going to fight Jeremy Carper for the 170-pound belt, and then Dan Root is going to fight Rob Watley for the 155-pound belt. So our last three fights of the night will all be crowning uh, new champions. Uh, the doors are at 6, and the show starts at 7, and you can get information on uh, ShogunFights.com. Tickets still available? You were saying that a lot have sold out, though. Yeah, yes, ma'am. The, uh, the floor seats are sold out. The VIP seats, I believe, are also sold out, so the floor is pretty well full. But once you get up into the 100 and 200 levels, there's still some good seats available. So, uh, you know, you can still go online to Shogun or to Ticketmaster or you know, you're always able to walk up the day of. In terms of response from you know, people buying tickets and the community, do you feel that's changing, getting bigger, expanding? Yeah, absolutely. The last show probably, I'm gonna say, was in the top three or four as far as revenues. Um, and this show right now is, is selling pretty well uh, from what I could see with the numbers. So, you know, I feel that the, uh, I mean, the. I feel we're getting a more steady fan base, you know, yeah. as people become uh, familiar with the fighters and you start to have people that you can root for and guys that you think are exciting, so you want to come and see them. And, uh, you know, in the, in the general community, I mean, you know, I think we're starting to get more, uh, you know, I mean, you guys have always been great, but we're starting to get some different outlets that are starting to give us some more right. media coverage. And, you know, I've always told everybody, in order for us to become more mainstream in the area, the, I mean, the media is very important. You know, if, if people see me on your show, you know, hear us on the radio, uh, if we're newsworthy, then people at home will also believe mm -hmm. that you're newsworthy, and I think they'll be more likely to come out. So, you know, I appreciate you and Marty always looking out for us. <laughs> it definitely is getting bigger and bigger. Just a couple weeks ago, we did coffee with with um, Nick Jonas, yeah, right. whose show Kingdom, yes. second season, yeah, right. he plays one of the fighters He's a fighter, on that show. Correct, correct. So it's everywhere. And I think last time you were here, we talked about Ronda Rousey a little bit. Since Amazing. then, she has blown up. <laughs> she has really blown up since then. She's like winning at the ESPYs and she's. Yeah, she was female athlete of the year. I mean, beating out Serena Williams. Yeah. And, uh, she was the fighter of the year, beat mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Rhonda's, I mean, transcended the sport at this point. Big she's time. movies. Uh, Entourage. I, I just, yeah, she was entourage. an entourage. She's uh, up for the lead in uh, the, the Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel That's right. movie. That's right. Yes. Uh, she's going to be Patrick Swayze in the Roadhouse. Yes, I read that, that too. They're doing. So they just commissioned a mural of her in Venice. So um, Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And, and, and I can tell you from the other side, you know, um, I do have some schools in the area. They're called Ground Control. Mm -hmm. And honestly, after her last fight, I don't know why it was the, just the last fight, but after her last fight, the, uh, I'm telling you, the, the women that are starting to call and the girls right. that are starting to call to come in for classes, you know, w with our the website, you know, where you get your my leads from. No, because she's a, a role model. Yeah, it's, it's really, I mean, she has really uh, changed the face of the game. And, uh, I mean, she's an amazing talent. I mean, you, it can't be denied that she's, you know, she's super talented. Great. Well, we're excited for your sport and we're excited for Shogun Fights again this Saturday. Tickets still available. Give us the website one more time. Uh, Shogunfights.com, or you can also get them on Ticketmaster. And uh, if you're on the fence, you have some plans to fall through Saturday, you can always come and walk up door. to the arena. All right.